Thank you, Midday Kentucky, everyone. I'm over here with Alison Davis from Wild Time Cooking. How are you, my friend? I'm great. How are you? Uh, well, I'm very good, but I'm very concerned you're, you're using green bananas. I think you are. You're confused. Yeah. <laughs> it's been the story of my life, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> These are not bananas. These are plantains. Plantains are found like in the Caribbean, uh -huh. and I'm surprised. I mean, I don't know much about. They look about like a Aust green banana. I don't know much about Australian food, so I don't know if you have plantains down there. I but don't think we do. You see them in South America. You see them in the Caribbean. Uh, plantains are more starchy. Okay. Um, so to me, they're basically like a cross between um, a banana Can and I have a, a sweet potato. And they have okay. The, so it's a little bit different. It smells like a sweet potato. Yeah, and a banana. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, have you had tostones? No, I don't think so. No? Okay, well, that's that what Spanish? you... Is that Spanish? Yeah, so that's what you use to make those um, nice, like, chips um, that you get sometimes, like, in Cuba and Caribbean restaurants. So, nope, nope, total... I all can't right. help you with this one, everyone at all home. All right, well... I know nothing about this recipe. Well, all right. So, I can't give my expert advice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're using the plantain, and we're making a plantain and apple fritter. So this is like okay. a good little breakfast item. We actually serve it in our meals sometimes with our like breakfast sausage, oh, yeah. um, kind of as a side, almost like a hash, if yep. you will. So if you want, you um, want me to uh, grate? Yes, we're going to grate uh, right. the plantain, and I'm just going to get some of the apple cut up. And whilst we're doing that, I want everyone to know we've got um, our favorite oil, coconut oil, of course, um, simmering over here. Do I do this whole one? Yeah, we'll do that whole one. I almost got my finger again. Yeah, be careful because that's sharp. Um, yeah. So what we're going to add to the fritter is some apple, which I'm going to grate in there once you want me to grate that. that as well. You sure can. I okay. This. I wish you had them every day in the kitchen. Hold on. <laughs> this is. Look, can I <laughs> just tell you? as far as you can go. I, can I tell you something? <laughs> I don't even cook at home. Like I do say that I added something to your beef broth. And I did, mm -hmm. but it was already stuff that I'd already bought that was partly made. Right. I just put it all together. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, and I'd like to think I, well, look, I actually can cook. It's just not my thing. And I'm sure every wife sitting at home says, it's not my thing either, but I've got to do it. I hear you. <laughs> okay, go on, what else? All right, so we've got some Dijon mustard. Yep. In here? Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, put it in there. The Don't Dijon mustard helps kind of be a binder uh, for this. Okay. It's getting very close to my fingers, you're people. You're fine. You're fine. I'll take it back. Oh. And that's perfect because we're not going to put the peel in. Oh, okay. I was going to say it's very close to my fingers. All right. So a little bit more apple. The apple just balances with the plantain to yep. give it kind of a sweetness um, because, again, the plantain's more like a potato, so it's okay. more uh, starchy. So sweet and sour. Exactly. Okay. The I mustard helps to bind it. We're going to add some eggs and then um, some coconut flour. Oh, yum. Right? Yep. Yum. And the coconut flour is just like a thickener. It helps just kind of bind it um, and come together so that it holds some of that liquid. It basically okay. dries it out. So a couple of eggs. Again, I love this just for breakfast because it's more kind of like a but hash. It's something the kids can help you with as well. Yeah, and it's different, right? Yeah. So see how we start to kind of just mix that together? I just together? love how you get in there with your fingers. I know you do. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> okay, so you're just mixing that together. A little mm -hmm. bit of flowers going in next. Mm -hmm. And um, salt and pepper. Yep. And I had two seasonings that I wanted to kind of bring into this one. Okay. Um, might turn that oh. down just a little bit. You see how that oil's starting to smoke? That's where you want it, but you don't want it to get any hotter okay. than that. Okay. Sorry. I'm putting a bit of ginger yep. in here. And that is also anti inflammatory and cayenne. Okay. Okay. So both of those kind of have a purpose yep. um, detoxifying nice. wise that really nice. kind of help as well. Nice. I'm going to have to pull the crew in um, and on my countertop there's some coconut flour. Oh we need the coconut. <laughs> yeah, pull the crew in. All right perfect. Thank you Mr. Crew Magic member. Magic of TV. <laughs> um, adding a little bit of that coconut flour and you'll see how it really just kind of soaks it up and then, oh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's able to form it's more of binding. the patty. You know so that's what we're making is the fruit. Do you like how I said good binding? Yes you were just yeah. learning so much. I am. And, I mean, the measurements to me are not as crucial as it is more about the consistency again. Why start now? <laughs>
<laughs> Why start now, people? <laughs> hey, while you're binding all of that, if you want to find out this recipe and how to make all the things that we make with Alison Davis, head over to wtvq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. It's all there. Click on the Midday Kentucky recipe section. You um, see? Yeah, that looks really hot too. It is. You'll and be able to find out everything out there. Huh? And then you get this nice kind of crispy fritter and you just like okay. almost like a pancake fritter. I got gotcha. like a hash brown people. Exactly, but okay. with plantain in it. Alright, thank you my friend. Yeah, thank I'm you. gonna let us cook this and then we're gonna try it. Back after this short break everyone. Stick with us.